Welcome to the 2017 National Presidents Forum hosted by PBL National President Albert Amea, Professional Division National President Blake Reynolds, and FBLA North Central Region Vice President Hattie Khrushchev. I am FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers and will be moderating the presentation and the question and answer session at the end. Today's webinar features updates from a national officer for each division and information on FBLA PBL Week. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over questions at the end of this presentation. Up first is FBLA North Central Region Vice President Hattie Khrushchev. Hello, FBLA members. My name is Hattie Kruschek, and I have the honor of serving as your North Central Region Vice President. Your National President, Neil Patel, apologizes for not being available today as he is attending the Missouri District 13 Conference. This is our organization's 75th year, a year to celebrate, a year to inspire, and a year to enhance, with a young and energized national team determined to reach the members and share the prosperous opportunities that FBLA offers, our division has continued to stimulate the future of this world. It's hard to believe that six months ago I was in Reston, Virginia, along with my fellow national officers, creating the 2016-2017 Program of Work. During our time at the FBLA PBL National Center, we focused on creating a robust program of work centered around community service, relationships, resources, and image and awareness. I am thrilled to announce our progress thus far. One of our greatest goals this year is to connect with you, the members. In order to achieve this goal, we have taken every opportunity available at conferences to connect with our membership. At regional and district conferences, the national fall leadership conferences, and workshops, we have created relationships with our members to bridge the gap between the levels. Along with conferences, your national vice president have been hosting conference calls with the state presidents in each region. The calls have been a beneficial communication tool to relay information to the states and gain feedback. Your national officers have appointed members from around the country to serve on each of our councils. These members have completed many tasks that, it, that have impacted our organization as a whole. Tasks include sending COP requests and emails, contacting potential silent auction donors, creating agendas and taking minutes, and reaching out to potential new chapters. Our team thanks the council members who have contributed to the successes this year. National Treasurer Nicholas Lazar has been working diligently to create a resource for members to become certified in financial literacy. Your National President Neil Patel has been working with MIT Launch to get this year's launch pad up and running for the National Leadership Conference. Battle Royale is a new national program launched this year. This program has been designed to increase chapter and state involvement in national programs. Local chapters are encouraged to complete programs such as Diamond Chapter, Membership Mania, Action Awareness, and etc. to earn points for their state. The points are awarded based on participation and are not in relation to state size. The state receiving the most points by May 15th will be awarded with a four-foot traveling trophy. The trophy will be revealed and showcased at the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim this summer. Start today, aim for the gold, and rise to the top. FBLA swept the board in the Association for Career and Technical Education Business Education Contest. We congratulate Neil Patel, Emily Ritchie, Vanessa Ting, Oldris Jen, and Ryan Apigeon for their hard work and commitment to career and technical education. FBLA has taken over social media this year with an 8.5% increase of followers on Instagram and the launch of a national Snapchat in collaboration with PBL. We encourage members to use these social media platforms to stay up to date on FBLA announcements. A reminder that FBLA PBL has a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now Snapchat account. The Resource Center on the national website has been updated this year, so be sure to use it as a reference for your local chapter. Over the past six months, a lot has been accomplished, but the year is not over and the potential for continued greatness is only intensifying. On behalf of your FBLA National Officer Team, we wish you the best of luck in all of your upcoming FBLA endeavors. 
Your team is only an email away, so please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. Continue to leave your legacy of leadership, and we can't wait to see you in Anaheim, California this summer at the 2017 National Leadership Conference. Thank you, Hattie. Next, we'll hear from PBL National President, Albert Amaya. Greetings, members, and welcome to FBLA PBL Week. It is hard to believe that conference season is here, and before we know it, we'll be reunited again in Anaheim, California, for the 2017 National Leadership Conference. While we are almost nearing the end of our membership year, our job as officers and as members of this greater organization is not done. There is still work to be done in order to make PBL the premier collegiate student business organization of the future. The PBL National Officer Team has been hard at work to ensure that we are providing you, the members, the best experience possible. We feel that this year will mark the beginning of the evolution of Phi Beta Lambda. We have this division where we have the potential to help college students from across the country gain the skills and knowledge they need to become more attractive to potential employers and to help them make the context they need to increase their potential of getting the job they want. We don't make progress by doing the same thing year after year. We eventually need to branch out and broaden our horizons. That is why the National Officer Team has decided that our legacy this year will be to set the foundation for the future of PBL. Creating this foundation begins with highlighting and capitalizing on some of the great things that we have accomplished. I am happy to announce that PBL is showing a 10 member increase over this time last year. Make sure to continue to do work and push for membership at the local and state levels. Your hard work is definitely paying off and progress is being made. Remember to strive for 75. We have established regional secretaries and treasurers action councils to assist with membership outreach, program development, and to assist with seeking sponsorships and silent auction items. We thank our council members for their continued commitment to our organization and for supporting the national officer team in carrying out our program of work. We are in the process of revamping the PBL virtual chapter to provide our virtual members an enhanced PBL experience. Earlier this membership year, the national officer team appointed a virtual chapter leadership team to assist in recruiting online schools and to help in chartering and rechartering PBL chapters. We are pleased with the progress that this leadership team has made and their hard work is paying off with an increase in membership for the PBL virtual chapter. In December, the PBL National Officer Team released a membership survey in an effort to understand the needs of our membership and what attracted them to join PBL. Members from over 20 state chapters participated in the survey. We hope that our state and local chapter officers will take this feedback and use it to create a stronger PBL program. We have strengthened our relationship with, with the professional division by working closely together to identify how they can better assist our students. We have contributed articles to the Professional Edge and are working on creating a PBL mentorship program where PBL members will have the opportunity to have a mentor that will be able to assist them in developing themselves as a student, leader, and business professional. We continue to enhance our communication efforts by engage, engaging with our membership via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Our PBL National Secretary, Kimberly Clark, has initiated a State President's Roundtable that occurs each month to share ideas and provide monthly state chapter updates, and we look forward to kicking off a Humans of FBLA PBL, where members and advisors will have the opportunity to share their unique FBLA PBL story. These are just a few of the many great things that your PBL National Officer Team is working on. We would like to give a special thanks to the FBLA PBL Board of Directors, the national staff, our state officers, and most importantly you, the members, for your continued support in helping us carry out our vision for the future of PBL. Members, remember to continue celebrating our 75th anniversary. I am so proud of each and every one of you and for everything you have accomplished this year. On behalf of the PBL National Officer Team, we wish you the best of luck at your state conference and we look forward to seeing you in Anaheim. Thank you, Albert. Now let's hear from our Professional Division National President, Blake Reynolds. Thank you, Lisa. The Professional Division has been experiencing an exciting growth spurt in the last year, with membership up more than 16% to nearly 4,000 members. We've been collaborating more with FBLA and PBL, as Albert had said, to have a greater presence across the divisions, given how a core focus of the professional division is to bring our business and leadership experience into the classroom. 
At our NFLCs and NLCs, the professional division booth has seen increased traffic with both students and advisors wanting to learn more about how they can utilize professional division members in their states. Also at our conferences, we have been offering resume reviews to better prepare members for their job search, as well as continuing education credit for those seeking to get a leg up in their careers. As we get into conference season, professional division members are available to help on many levels, such as preparing students for competitive events, presenting workshops, and helping to judge. For more information about how you can utilize professional division members, have your resume critiqued, as well as other useful tools and materials, visit the professional division page of the national website. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn to stay up to date on all the professional division news. We look forward to seeing you in Anaheim and to help you establish your legacy of leadership. Thank you, Hattie, Albert, and Blake so much for sharing the latest information from your divisions. Now let's take a look about what's happening this week in our organization. We hope your chapter has plans to celebrate FBLA PBL week. We love seeing our members share their FBLA PBL stories and memories on social media yesterday. You and you are off to a great start by attending today's National President's Forum. Tomorrow, we encourage all of our members to participate in Each One Reach One Day. This is your chance to share our wonderful organization with other students in your school. Share a favorite FBLA PBL memory or tell them about the benefits of joining. Maybe invite them to your next chapter meeting. Who knows? You may help someone take the next step in their leadership journey. On Wednesday, turn heads on your campus by wearing your best suit for professional attire day. Show your friends you know how to dress for success. And don't forget to say a special thanks to the outstanding leaders who guide our chapters, our advisors. Celebrate Advisor Appreciation Day by giving your advisor flowers, cookies, a gift card, or maybe even having your chapter members sign a thank you card. These dedicated individuals work hard to help you succeed, so let's show them how much they are appreciated. Career Awareness Day on Thursday is the perfect opportunity for you to connect with community leaders and members of the FBLA PBL Professional Division. Reach out to them with your job and career questions. Did you know that the Professional Division even offers free resume critique for FBLA and PBL members? Just visit the PD page of the national website and submit your resume for review. And Friday is your chance to show off your FBLA PBL gear during FBLA PBL Spirit Day. Wear your favorite conference t-shirt or carry the bag you bought from Marketplace. Take a group photo with your chapter members and post it on social media with the hashtag FBLA PBL Week. And continue our legacy of giving back to our communities with Community Service Day on Saturday. If your chapter doesn't have something planned, look for ways that you can personally help improve your school or community. As Aesop wrote, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. You can find more information, resources, and celebration ideas on our national website. Be sure to post your activities on social media with the hashtag FBLA PBL Week. Thanks for sharing all that information. Looks like we received some questions during the presentation, so let's start answering those now. So the first one is, yesterday was Share Your FBLA PBL Story Day. Can each of you share why you became involved in FBLA PBL and what it's done for you? We'll start with Hattie, then Albert, and then Blake. Yes, thank you, Lisa. I became involved within FBLA my freshman year of high school. I remember walking into my first business ed class and having no idea what was set forth for me the rest of the year. After running for state officer position for Wisconsin FBLA, I knew that a national position is where I needed to go. FBLA has given me so many different opportunities, and I can only thank those around me for encouraging me to embark on this journey. Awesome. Um, so I will admit that I was not the best student in high school. I didn't have the best grades. And as I shared at the State Leadership Summit, I actually had a Mohawk in high school, um, which is <laughs> hard to believe. But I was introduced to the organization by a very close friend of mine. And um, within six months of being in the, or in the organization, my advisor asked me if I wanted to run for state president. 
Uh, probably something that is unheard of. Um, I had just been in the organization for six months. I had no idea what I was doing, but I was willing to give it a try. So um, I went up in front of 3,000 members, gave a speech, and was elected as state president my first year in the organization. Um, let's just say the rest is history. Um, FBLA PBL has provided me so many opportunities, including a full-time offer, which I started back in November. Um, I'm so excited to graduate now in May and give back to the organization that has given so much to me. Thanks, Albert. Uh, so I've been involved in FBLA for a long time. Um, now as a member of the professional division and uh, originally started as a freshman in high school. And I got involved in FBLA because I come from a family of business owners and entrepreneurs and I knew that the business world was something that I wanted to really tap into. And so FBLA seemed like a very good outlet for that. And uh, I joined it freshman year, became a local chapter officer um, the year after that, as well as uh, my first of three years as a state officer, and really haven't looked back. And uh, here I am, uh, 16 plus years later, and uh, it's been an amazing experience. I've been, uh, like I said, a local, uh, state, national officer, and I'm also the uh, state chair for Massachusetts. And so I've kind of uh, run the, the full spectrum of um, FPLA involvement, with the exception of PBL, sorry, Albert. <laughs> that was my one that I skipped. But um, it's been an incredible opportunity for the networking experience um, and all the amazing people that I have met. Um, and certainly um, for all of, all of you in FPLA and PBL, uh, it looks terrific on a resume. It seems like it's one of those organizations that everybody recognizes and really respects. So um, stick with it and go the distance and I know it will pay off for you. Thanks so much. I just love hearing everybody's stories and how they got involved. I guess it's a former teacher in me, but um, it's just great to hear that. The next question is for Hattie and Albert. Tomorrow is each one reach one day, and so what are some recruitment ideas that you can suggest for our chapter? We'll start first with Albert and kind of switch it up a little bit and then go to Hattie. Thank you, Lisa. That's an excellent question. Um, so what better way to recruit a member um, with conference season right around the corner? So um, one of the biggest things that I've been um, sharing with my officer team at the local level as they recruit members is competition is the biggest selling point right now. Um, I always say that PBL um, provides you the opportunity to put to practice what you're learning in the classroom. So we always go to class, um, you know, we listen to a lecture, probably don't understand anything the professor is saying. We walk out and we're like, well, there goes that. Uh, but, you know, by participating in our, in our conferences, actually competing um, at the state and national conference, you're able to put to practice exactly what you're learning. Um, so that's definitely a, a route to go. Um, we have flyers, we flyer bomb all across campus um, right up before morning classes so that members see that. We're active on social media. Um, definitely get creative, um, show your spirit around campus. Um, I know in PBL and universities and colleges we have so much competition, um, but PBL offers a great program and we need to be proud of that. So definitely just show your spirit um, and be proud to be a PBL member. Thank you, Albert, and kind of piggybacking on some of the things that you said, um, the BAAs are a great way for members to stay involved within FBLA, and as I've been working on them, some of the missions were to create flyers and brochures for your local chapter. So that's a great way to be improving your um, involvement within FBLA through those awards, and then also taking what you are making and sending it out to other members. So a brochure or flyer, setting those around your school, especially with it being FBLA PBL week, it will get more members intrigued and want to know what's going on. And competition is a wonderful aspect, like Albert said. Sorry. That's OK. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, like Albert said, competition is one of the biggest parts of FBLA, but also with competition rolling around and some members not choosing to do that, going to a meeting or volunteering in your community is a great way to stay involved within FBLA. So I encourage you to invite new members to your meetings and show them the other benefits of FBLA as well. Those are some great tips. I always say that it's never too late to join FBLA or PBL. Um, 
you know, you can focus on those freshmen and sophomores because obviously, you know, your upperclassmen graduate and you need those underclassmen to keep that chapter going. But um, you guys made a great point. There's really literally something for everybody in FBLA or PBL. The next question is for Blake. Uh, Thursday is Career Awareness Day, and that seems like a perfect time to interact with the professional division members. Can you give me some ideas? So I guess backing it up and how do you kind of reach out to your professional division members in your state? And I think this starts on the state level with um, state key contacts and state officers. So um, for those who are on the webinar that aren't an advisor or a state chair or a state officer, reach out to those people in your state to see who the professional division uh, members are in your state and they have contact information. That would be a great opportunity for you to reach out to them and ways to interact with them, and this might touch on some other questions that we might get. Um, it's conference season, so they're perfect people to tap into to help prepare for, prepare for competitive events, um, such as job interview. They can do mock interviews with you. They can critique your um, business competition. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different competitive events that professional division members, uh, as they're the experts in their fields, uh, they're out in the business world, um, they've established careers, and they would be perfect people to kind of bounce um, your interview skills off of or your business presentations and uh, so that's one way of getting them involved. Another is um, they're perfect people to tap into um, not only as guest speakers and workshop presenters uh, at state and regional conferences but also if you're just having a local chapter meeting. Um, these people are in your community, they are eager to get involved and I think they're waiting to hear from those local chapter members in their communities to reach out to them. So it really does start on the state and local level to reach out to professional division members. Thanks, Blake. The next question is for Hattie. What are some things that our chapter can do on this Saturday to celebrate Community Service Day? Great. I love this question and I love community service and just giving back to people um, around my community. I have three ideas for members to go out and do this Saturday. One would be going to a food pantry. I think that's a great way to give back to the families directly in your community or going to a homeless shelter um, in a nearby city or in your own city as well. I know I'm near Madison, Wisconsin, so I've gone to a homeless shelter there and it was a wonderful opportunity to meet with those people and actually share about FBLA and what I'm doing in high school. And it's really fun to share our inspiring stories to hopefully inspire others along the way. And another idea would be to go to an assisted living home and meet with people there who don't always have visitors and just again share your FBLA story and what you're up to with life because everybody needs a buddy and everybody wants to make friends along the way and that's what we are as future business leaders of America is being leaders and going out and meeting with people in our communities. Those are some great things to do. Um, you know, it's such a great time on Saturday where the whole nation is going to be doing the community service hour. So I really encourage you to, to take um, note of some of Hattie's tips. Looks like we have time for one more question. So the last question is for Albert, and it's a little bit off the subject with FBLA PBL week, but it's very important. Um, several of our members want to attend this year's National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, California. Can you give us some ideas for raising money? Absolutely. Thank you, Lisa. This is a great question, questions that I've already been receiving, um, and it's a tough one. Uh, Anaheim, California, just warning you, it's a little bit expensive. However, um, with enough planning, we, um, your chapters can get there. Uh, speaking about planning, it's important to start ahead. Um, you know, start looking at airfare, start looking at hotel costs, registration costs, and create a plan. Um, set a goal. How much money does our chapter need to get to this conference? Once you have your goal, um, I I suggest creating a fundraising committee, which is my, what my chapter does. Um, this fundraising committee will focus on coming up with the ideas to, you know, um, to fundraise, and then our, our entire membership will actually go and uh, participate in these activities. Um, I always say that uh, no uh, idea is too small. I, um, you know, whether it be a bake sale, whether it be, I know several restaurants do a gift bag night. Um, you know, that all that money adds up, whether it's $100, $200, or it adds up. Uh, but something that my, chap, my local chapter is really strong on is reaching out to the community and seeking sponsorships. So we actually take a day, um, a day, two days of the week, of the weekend each month to go, um, you know, 
business to business and, act, and ask for sponsorships. You know, we dress up uh, in uniform and we tell them who we are, what we do, what this money is going for, and you'd be surprised that, you know, and who's willing to help. Uh, something that I also suggest is that you look at who our partners are. We have so many partners, um, fundraising partners um, and projects that you can participate in to raise funds. Like I said, it's not easy and it won't be easy, but remember to just um, keep a positive attitude. Everything adds up, so don't think that any idea is too small. Those are some great ideas. Um, and everybody can always use a little bit of help when traveling, but Anaheim, California is one of the best sites for our conference. There's so much to do and we have, as you can see here, so uh, such enthusiasm with our officer teams. It looks like that's all we have time for today. Thank you for joining us and remember to register for our next webinar, the 2017 NLC on April 19th. Have a great afternoon and happy FBLA PBL week.